Welcome back to Hot Rod High School. In today's episode, we are going to be reading a standard micrometer and using it to measure various objects. So we have a, an example of a micrometer here, and it's important to realize that each micrometer only measures one inch of distance. So we have a zero to one inch micrometer sitting on the paper right now. We could also go up to a one to two inch micrometer. So every measurement that this micrometer makes is going to start with a zero and a decimal point. Every one that this one makes starts with a one and a decimal point. Then we have all the sizes here going right up to a five to six inch micrometer, which will obviously have every measurement starting with a five and a decimal point. Important thing about micrometers, about machining, or uh, anything to do with uh, narrow specifications and tolerances, always think in thousandths of an inch. So it's time to throw out some of the stuff that your math teacher has been telling you about uh, um, you know, rounding numbers. Um, because when we think of a hundred thousandths of an inch, we're not writing that out as 0.1. We're writing that out as 0 0.100. And we'll get more into that as we go through the reading of this micrometer. Uh, before I go any further, though, I am going to show you a video made by someone else on YouTube. And I want to give them all the credit for uh, putting out such a spe spectacular tutorial. And if you want to watch their entire video, I'll make sure to include that information. So this video was made by a YouTube channel called ET Prof, and uh, it is the best tutorial out there on micrometers. If you want to watch the entire video, uh, by all means, uh, go to ET Prof on YouTube um, because uh, they do great work. Before we start talking about how to read a micrometer, especially an inch micrometer, we want to think in thousandths of an inch. So this is three decimal places. If we just always set our uh, thought process to three decimal places, we'll see that a micrometer will work pretty easily. This is the way that machinists think. So you're going to think of 0 .001 is one or one thousandth. 0 .020 is 20 thousandths. 0 .9 would be 900 thousandths. A quarter of an inch you would say is 250. 0.375, think of that as 735. So how much is a thousandth of an inch anyway? Um, kind of some rules of thumb. If you're thinking of a piece of paper, that's about four of these. 0 0.004 or four thousandths. A quarter is about 70 thousandths or 0 0.070. A pencil, a normal wooden pencil, is about a quarter of an inch. Think of that as 250 thousandths. 0.25 is a quarter of an inch. Okay, so there are two scales to look at on a micrometer. The barrel scale and the thimble scale. We'll look at the barrel scale first. So, so here's a barrel scale up close. Uh, you'll notice that it's got some numbers across here and some tick marks now, if an inch micrometer is reading from, say, zero to one inch, then this scale uh, is, well, they're tenths of an inch, but this would be a half an inch. So that's 0 0.5 or 0 0.500. This first main graduation here, the first big division from zero to one, this is 0 0.1. So that's a tenth of an inch or if we're thinking in thousandths of an inch, that's a hundred. The next big mark is 200, or 0.2, so 0 0.200. We'll say that is 200, and that will make it easy to keep the decimal place straight. Down here, that's a half an inch, 0.5. Now, if, if this first mark is 0 0.1, or 100, half of that would be 50 or point oh five oh so the halfway between zero and point one is fifty or fifty thousandths 
half of that distance would be a quarter. So if you're thinking in terms of thousandths, this would be a hundred, twenty-five, fifty, and then this mark would obviously be seventy-five point zero seven five. The main scale, if we want to read these together, is point one. Somewhere out here, this would be point four, or four hundred and twenty-five point four two five. Down here, can you guess what this would be? This would be point six seven five or six hundred and seventy-five thousandths. Now, the other scale is the thimble scale, and you'll see that it starts at zero and goes from one, two, three, four, all the way around to twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and this would be the twenty-fifth. So, uh, these are thousandths of an inch. So if this says one, this is one thousandth, point zero zero one. Five would be point zero zero five. Seventeen is seventeen thousandths, point zero one seven. Now let's look at a reading on here. This mark that you see there, that tells us that we're at point three and then point three twenty five, point three fifty, and point three seven five. So that mark represents point three seven five. The reading from the thimble scale is zero. So we don't add anything to the point three seventy five. And so the reading is point three seven five. Okay, so here I've taken the micrometer and I have moved it just a little bit back so we're just a little bit less than 0.375 and the question is what's the reading now well uh, we we're not reading from this mark anymore this mark is not actually showing even though you can kind of see it the fact is that if this mark were to show it would be a brand new mark and so the reading on the thimble scale would be a very small reading and as you can see we're reading 24 which is almost a completely all the way around. So this is a very high number, so that means we're working off of the older mark, which would be this one. <clears throat> and that mark would read point three five zero. Now, we can uh, get the next decimal place by reading the thimble scale, and that will, this one remember, is reading in thousandths of an inch. So this is twenty thousandths, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. This is twenty four thousandths, so that's point oh two four. So the reading of this micrometer is the point three fifty plus the point zero two four. Think of it as adding three hundred and fifty and twenty four. You get a so yeah, if you would uh, want to, I, I would definitely say that that is the best micrometer tutorial out there and so definitely visit his channel and take a look at the entire video uh, because he does a great job explaining this we're going to go through really quick here and do a few micrometer readings and then we'll take out an actual micrometer and uh, do a few measurements here so doing some micrometer readings uh, i got just a simple micrometer worksheet here and we'll take a look at it so let's take a look Number 11 is already filled out for us. So if we take a look at number 11, the last visible numbered line, remember that's in hundreds of thousands of an inch, so is a two. So we've written a two up there. The decimal equivalent to that is 200 thousandths, which is 0 0.200. The number of lines visible after that numbered line is three. One, two, three lines that we have visible after the two which equals 75 thousandths. The thimble reading is a 10. So we've got a 10 right there that lines up with the index line. And that's read as 10 thousandths or 0 0.010. When we add that all together, 200 thousandths plus 75 thousandths plus 10 thousandths, we get that final reading of 285 thousandths of an inch. Let's take a look at the next one here, number 12 on our paper. 
So we got a reading here of the last visible numbered line is a six. So we'll write six up here. The decimal equivalent, 0 0.600. 0, 0. The number of lines visible after that six, there's just one of them. What does that equal in thousandths of an inch? That is 0 0.025. And then the thimble reading. Let's see. The thimble reading, the index line here, lines up with this mark, which is one mark before 15, which means that it's 14. What does that equal in thousandths of an inch? Well, that's 14 thousandths of an inch. Zero. 0 0.014. So 600 thousandths plus 25 thousandths plus 14 thousandths gives us a final reading of 0 0.639. So enough of doing this on paper. Let's try to read an actual micrometer. So we'll just go through and figure out the diameter of this nut. I'll take my micrometer and I always wanna turn it by a little ratcheting mechanism that is on the back here. And that's gonna give me the proper feel and tighten down on our object the proper amount. So I'm turning it using that ratcheting mechanism, spinning it all the way down until it doesn't want to go any further. And now I can get my measurement, which I can tell is, is probably fairly hard to see on my camera. But the last visible numbered line on there is a seven. And this is a zero to one inch micrometer. So every Every measurement I make with it is going to start with a zero and a decimal point. So last visible number line is a seven, which is 700 thousandths. So 0 0.7. The number of lines after the last visible line, there is just one of them. So 25 thousandths of an inch. Let's put this all together here. So 700 thousandths of an inch showing up here plus 25 thousandths of an inch plus the reading over on the thimble, which is 19 thousandths of an inch. So now we can add that all together and get our final reading. So that gave us a final reading on this object of 744 thousandths of an inch or 0 0.744. And that's it. Uh, the best possible thing you can do at this point is get out your micrometer and practice measuring items.